guys are now being burned. Welcome back, everybody. We're back. Is this another movie review? No, it's not. It's another <laughs> bourbon review. Is this bourbon, whiskey? What is this? I don't even know anymore. To another bourbon on a budget with the horror squad. Mm-hmm. I'm Jason. I'm Christine. Today we're drinking the burning chair. <laughs> Sounds spooky. Bourbon whiskey. Now it's got a real nice bottle, which is why I bought it. Aesthetic purposes only. Um, I, mean, I think we all make those choices. Yes. It's a nice bottle. It's a really nice bottle. And then it's got this fancy cork. Yeah, so out. this cork, you guys want to be careful, it is glass oh, on the inside. Glass with a little rubber. <laughs> Would you like to try some burning chair? Yeah, but let's talk about who it's from first. Okay. Um, this one is bottled, uh, produced and bottled by Savage and Cook in Vallejo, California. Or is that Vallejo? Vallejo. Um, but is this still in Indiana? Yeah, it was one of those that starts out somewhere else, finished elsewhere. Uh, we don't have a problem with that because, you know, you got to start somewhere. Is this our first one from California or um, have we tried others? I really can't say. Um, but I like the name. Savage and Cook, Savage and Cookie. I don't know, but let's try it. It is 88 proof. Yeah, so a little over standard. Yeah, you want it's a, full, a tiny bit. Or, uh, Ooh, that's a full little boy. <laughs> <laughs> we love full little boys. <laughs> maybe, Gotta make sure their belly. Maybe edit that part. Out. Make sure their bellies are full. <laughs> the only good boy is a full boy. Anyway. Okay, we gotta cut that whole section. No, we don't. You know it's staying in. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh yeah. Let me have a sniff. Smells like. Bourbon. Uh, it smells like bourbon. True. Um, it's kind of a, have a punchy. It does smell like it's going to be a little punchy. Yeah. But also, if you sniff a little longer, I think you kind of start smelling some some sweetness. Maybe that little caramel flavor. Maybe a little vanilla. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're going to give it a shot. So cheers. Cheers. The burning chair. It's a bourbon whiskey. Oh, it's a bourbon whiskey. I didn't know you can combine them, I guess. See, that's how much I, I pay attention to the... 88 proof. Bottled by Savage and Cookie, Vallejo, California. Oh, Cali, that, that West Coast. That? What you know about that West Coast lifestyle? Hey, but it's got that one guy in the front. They uh, Wasn't he like a, a Buddhist monk who like burned himself? Oh, yeah. Is that him? There Is that few, how it went? There were a few. Yeah, people. throw him up. Throw him up! <laughs> I okay. We're just, we're just talking about self-immolation. Oh yeah. Okay, is this a screw off or is this a pop off? Do you pop it or screw it? Oh you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's just straight up glass. That had no sound to it at all. All right. Well, let's smell the bottle. Yeah, smell it. A nice uh, nutty aroma. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't know why you laughed. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> smell it. Uh. Like smells like a nice Christmas morning. No, it doesn't. Eating, uh. <laughs> Drinking bourbon? Uh, bourbon infused fruitcake. Mmm, that smells good. No nuts. Alright, so, uh, let's pour it and see how it tastes, I guess. I mean, is that, is that what you're supposed to be doing? Uh. And. What are you doing? Right? Ah. Alright. No talking on the set. No talking on the set. Oh, Sorry, about Oops. All right, so what are we gonna do, folks? We're gonna clink it, bump it, and dump it. So, okay, we're we're drinking this super cool bottle. Is it a bourbon whiskey? Bourbon, bourbon whiskey? whiskey? Where is it? But it's in, from California. That's okay. Okay. All it has to do is be mostly corn. 
To be a bourbon? And only be aged in a single barrel. This is 70%? Or something like that. I thought it had to do with where it was located. Like no, that's just if it says Kentucky bourbon. Kentucky bourbon? Now, you can say it's from somewhere else and be from California, nobody cares. But Kentucky bourbons, I think, have to be from Kentucky. And Tennessee bourbons have to be from Tennessee. Okay. I think. If we're wrong, you can let us know in the comments below. Um, <laughs> we're wrong. So the bottle's super cool. It's smooth. It's made of obsidian or something. And oh, it has this that. burning chair on the front that I thought was that monk who burned himself in protest of the Vietnam War when I was a child. But it's not. It's just a chair. Just they set on fire <laughs> for okay. some reason. So we're going to try this with... Uh, Arthritis. Oh shit! It's got a weird glass stopper. Mm -hmm. You want a tiny shot? Yeah, I did a little bit. All right, Randy's doing a little bit. I'm gonna do a bunch. Mm. That was a lot. Oh shit! <laughs> mm. You just taste it. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh god, bang! I spilled a lot. Well, it has a good color. Now we just did a review. Uh, last week of uh, some tin cup, which was a lot, I think, more golden. This is more amber. Very light in color. Yeah, light in color. This is a nice darker color. I wonder if that means it's been in the the keg, the case, the barrel, barrel longer. Yeah. I think so. The container, right? Mm -hmm. And that what gives it its flavor is the and the, the color, is jar. the wood. I wasn't oh. paying attention to it. And the different jar. jar. We did a tour, but we didn't, didn't pay attention when the guy was talking the whole time. Oh, we shouldn't say that. It was. Uh, but it was a great tour. <laughs> <laughs> I was drunk. Yeah, we were drunk. No, no. All right, let's. Um, doesn't have any particularly potent nose. No. Cheers. Twink. Oh yeah. Okay. It's not bad. It is punchy. I I, like I disagree. I, I honestly think that. <laughs> Um, there's not a whole lot of anything catching me off guard. It went down really easy. There's not a whole lot going on in the mouth except uh, a really nice flavor. It's got a decent flavor. It, it is a little more burny than I thought it would be. But it is called the burning chair. So. I don't know. I'm not getting that that burn. And honestly, like I'm not feeling the heat like until now. Like it's just now starting to heat up my oh, yeah? stomach. I feel like I got more of a mouth burn, but not as much going down. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little more. This is a little second taste or something. You wanna okay. try? Give me a tiny bit. Yeah. Tiny. Cheers again. Cheers. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely spicy yeah, on the it. tongue, but really not so much going down, which is yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I, this is really easy to drink, um, and I'm curious to see what this one would be like uh, over an ice cube, to be honest. I really like it. Yeah, I would recommend it. Um, it does have a mouth punch, but at the same time, it's not completely terrible going down. Ooh, I feel a little bit of a burn going down. No. Yeah, it's spicier after. It's a spicy burn. It's got smooth going in. Kind of gritty. Not not in texture, but in feeling. You know? You guys could just <laughs> You can say it's John Wayne for what? Yes. Oh no, John He's Oh, John Wayne. He's nodding and laughing at me. That's right, I said it. <laughs> shots fired. Mm -hmm. All the shots fired. Woo! Mm. Yeah, but there's a little bit of burn, but you know, a nice, um, um, smooth, even flavor going down. A little bit of that spice, you know, smooth you, you really, really feel the spice right in the back of the throat. What do? What was I drinking a minute ago? Um, prairie. That was prairie. The high West American prairie bourbon. This is actually a little bit easier, smoother, easier to shoot back than the prairie. Shit. How Why much is this? Whoa! What are you doing? Yeah, it like goes down 
it's smooth, but then it has like a... Does it have some alcohol burst up your nose? Or is that just me? No, I think that was you. It's just me this time. It, but it is very smooth. It has a little fire here. It's spicy. <clears> but it has a really good flavor. I think it's really tasty. Um, I had like a sweetness briefly on my tongue, and then there's just some very interesting flavors of yummy and bourbon. <laughs> they there. all taste like bourbon. Mm. Except for the really This bad one, one does taste different. Um, <clears throat> we were just drinking some High West American Prairie, which I think is a wonderful flavor. This is good. It's just a little different. Yeah, it's very smooth. It's tingling um, after the after the initial smoothness. Mm -hmm. There's some, yeah, a little tingle. Well, I guess that's the alcohol. <laughs> it has a little bit of a warmth in there. Also it's not alcohol. aggressive. Um, it's not as it's not as punchy as some of the other things we've had that we would describe as being wintery campfire whiskeys. Mm. Yeah. I think that Bib and Tucker and uh, that Wyoming, we were like, this would be great next to a campfire. I don't remember drinking these. They were really punchy. Uh, but this is good. I've never seen this in the, the two stores I go into, um, but they don't really have a huge bourbon selection. I don't think they have this down the street at Greens. I don't think I've seen it there. And they don't have it at the drunk barn that I go to on my way in, which is a barn with booze in it. Can you drive through? If you're really drunk. <laughs> you there's, I guess. There's a, <laughs> yeah. It's like there's a there's a liquor store not too far from my house that's like in an old car wash where you get a drive you through. through. And there's like, one down the street, putt putt. You can drive up to the window, uh -oh. but I've never done They'll that. Give you a cup of ice. Really? Oh, shit. Ooh, a cup of ice with your bottle. <laughs> this one's a little up there on the budget. Um, it's true. about fifty dollars everywhere, uh, but I feel like the prices of most whiskeys and bourbons are going up lately. I don't know why. Um, it's trendy. Yeah, maybe so. It's trendy. Uh, I really like this one. Yeah, I like it too. I mainly like the bottle. Good job, guys. Mm. Savage and Cook. Burning Chair. Get you some. How much is this? How much is this bottle? It's, it's $50 a bottle. What the nuggets? And, you know, keep in mind everything's been going up. Mm -hmm. Does it come with a tin cup? It comes with a glass cork. Tin cup is yeah. $20. Where's the glass? What? That's not enough. That's... Wow. <laughs> Someone's already drunk, folks, behind the scenes. <laughs> you, just... <laughs> you just did one shot, right? Okay, that's it? This? Two. This? It's okay. The glass cork? Yeah, you can use that for Dude, this isn't functional. Yeah, Brian. I don't know. Brian's <laughs> knocking right? off points for the glass cork. Yeah, knocking off point fifty bucks, and it's not even doesn't even come with a tin cup. Come on now, whoa, let's go. That's not a bargain. This is bourbon on a budget, not expensive ass bourbon. Uh, fifty bucks ain't bad. What? I like I'm part time. I ain't gonna have a full time. You have a full time job. I'm part time, folks. <laughs> Somebody help me, please. <laughs> YouTube, help. Uh, it was good. Would you would yeah. you purchase it for fifty bucks? I think there are others that I prefer at a lower price point that I would purchase with more variety. This was delicious though. Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I you know, especially prepared compared to the last one, ten cup. I think it's a little bit easier to go down, even though ten cup did come with a uh, fancy ten cup. I do like the uh, I do like the bottle. Props for that. Tin cups bottle design was better though. It's a little, a little boring on the aesthetic side. A little boring, but flavorful. Tastes good. Easy, easy to uh, you know uh, to uh, digest, consume, whatever the hell you want to call it. So um, I'd recommend it. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it. I mean, hey, especially for you fancy folks out there, if you got 50 bucks to spend, you might as well just go ahead and do it. Woo! Um, <laughs> I like it. What's the price on this thing? It's 50. So 50 dollars is in the top of our budget range, I think. I don't think we've really done much higher than, have we done anything that higher than 50? Not, not really. really. Like something 50 something. It seems to be our, Cap. Uh, there's a lot of bottles out there that are like 100 that I'm really curious to try. Whistle P, 
pig and that single barrel Chattanooga and I think that was like 60 and some stuff um so this is in the budget but this isn't your weekly Drink. or daily budget if you're drinking that much um you can afford it but you have to make sure you can afford it this is your top shelf budget bourbon this is your top shelf budget bourbon i think for 50 if i saw it and i was wanting something good and to splurge i would get it again i like it it's very tasty i would say it's worth the money if you like bourbon if you're a casual bourbon drinker um maybe you're gonna pass and go with the tin cup that was 20 that was just a, or get a bottle of jameson that was 24 26 or something under 20 if you're in college maybe go get a bottle of that ancient age for 16 dollars or 12 or something how much is old granddad old granddad, old granddad is right at in the close 20 yeah it depends on which one depends on which one you get granddad can and it's delicious I but cheap granddad can go anywhere from five dollars <laughs> to, <laughs> to some like twenty four dollars <laughs> um but if you're working you you got out of college and you work in you can get one of these and then you leave it at home and then you have this nice delicious bourbon to drink when you get home and it's good yeah so i think it's a win it's fine we like it and the bottle's so cool you should just get it for that so yay Okay, everybody, thanks for watching another Bourbon on a Budget. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Seriously, if you can just share it, just put it on your FaceTube feed or your other Twitter thing or your Insta face. Just put it out there and share it with your friends. We need 100 followers <laughs> to, actually <laughs> to actually get a backslash horror <laughs> squad for our YouTube channel. That's all we're trying to get. Uh, we spend a lot of money on bourbon and review it for your pleasure, mainly for ours. Um, but please come back, watch. We have more reviews coming. We have movie reviews coming, despite Brian's contention that we can't do it. Never um, we'll be doing a review on Rawhead Rex, which is a delightful film that will pair wonderfully with this burning chair bourbon. So we what? look. <laughs> it will. Think about it. He's a demon. He's a fire. <laughs> Demons like bourbon. Okay. He's got fifty dollars. He's got more money. That's than more than the budget of the movie, actually. But <laughs> thank you guys. Please come back. Uh, we'll see you next week when we review another bourbon whiskey rye thingy. But not a movie. But and a movie. Bye. <laughs> Bye.